Okay. Thank you once again. Eric Lawrence and Michael Bishop for the first
Thank you. Thanks very much. Anybody here speak Danish? Jan? No? With a name like Jan? No? I read this article today that in, um, that in Denmark, in the elementary schools, they uh, have one hour a week where they teach empathy to the kids. Empathy. And there's this word, and I have no idea how to pronounce it, we can guess. It's W-Y-Y-G-E. No, I'm sorry, H-Y-Y-G-E. That changes everything. Hige, probably like Hige, right? Who's been to Denmark? Harvey. You've been to Denmark, have you? Hige. It means in, in, intentional, intentional group consciousness. That's what it means. Or actually, there's no translation for it, but it, the best they can do is. And it's like one of those moments, you know, I have this, this uh, I think about words, you know, and there's like cognition and recognition. And, you know, recognition is when you hear something and you know that you already knew it, you know. And um, playing with musicians like this intentional group consciousness. We've been practicing HIG for years, and we didn't even know it. Um, uh, I just have to say what an incredible honor it is to play with Harvey Sorgan and with Michael Bizio. And, uh, and what a cool thing it is to be able to come someplace in this part of the world and play music like this without having to like get on a plane and get on another plane and get jet lagged and, um, you know, eat something weird and then go into a gig or don't eat anything and wait for your instrument to show up and your instrument's broken and then you've got to borrow something and then you've got to get up and play like the most inspired improvised music of your life. We just got in our car and drove a few hours when we got here. We wanted to thank Tom and Jan for the bop shop. And Matt and Ian and everybody here and Eric and um, and all you folks for coming out because there's more of you than there is of us and that always means something to us. And um, why do you call it the Bop Shop anyway? A little sentimental thing. Okay. Shop, shopping, <laughs> bebop and shopping. We're doing a Hendrix too. Play Hendrix. I'm sure there was alcohol involved. Oh, Hendrix. I thought you said a Hendrix too. So we're gonna play uh, one more piece here. Okay. This is called Henry's Dream. It's uh, an excerpt from a larger piece I wrote in um, Leonard Henry's mind when he was still dead. Um, <laughs> But it was a much larger work. Uh, and this is the venue of that work. It's called Henry's Dream. <laughs>